welcome to week number six of Qigong for Pulmonary Health. As always, if you're standing, open your stance up so that your feet are about hip width apart. If you choose to sit this week, that's absolutely fine. Feel your feet on the ground. Relax your knees. Settle a dinosaur tail. Lift the crown of your head up towards the sky so that your spine feels long like a slinky. Begin shaking the arms. Imagine shaking any rust or tension off of the arms and the chest and the shoulders. Lift the arms up slightly with an inhale and an exhale. Now relax. All right, let's do it again. Shaking the hands and the wrists and the arms, inhaling up. And exhale, drop them down. Good. One more time. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Coming up, 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 up. And relax down. Good. Okay. Rub those hands together. Warm them up. Fingertips come up to the top of the head. Ah, relax, relax, relax. Good. Over the eyebrows. Letting go of any tension. Bringing our awareness into this present moment. Becoming mindful of our breathing in uh, our body and our mind. Fingertips to the chin, tapping, tapping, tapping. Along the collarbone, out to the outside, back to the center. Down the chest just a little bit. Shaking the arms out. Long sigh, find your feet on the ground, your knees relaxed, dinosaur tail settled, crown of the head lifted up towards the sky, flowing motion. Inhale, rising up like an ocean wave. Exhale, sinking down into the ground. It's okay if you have to take more than one breath, that's fine. Intent, inhale. Intent, filling the body with healing energy. And intent, exhale, moving toxins out. What an easy way to strengthen the legs, build stamina in the cardiovascular system, increase the immune system, and relax the nervous system. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, sinking down. You know, when you're on your own, you can do these as many times as you like. There's an old saying. When you do this, flow in motion, a hundred times a day, you'll live a long and healthy life. If you do it a thousand times a day, you'll become immortal. So, with that, let's move on to wind and bamboo. Left arm drops down, right arm over the top, gently side bending the body. Inhale, upright. Exhale, flowing to a side. Relaxing, letting the wind move you. Letting go of any tension. Gently compressing the lung on one side, exhaling toxins out. And opening the ribs to stretch tight muscles. Notice the gentle weight shift side to side. What a wonderful, easy way to improve your balance. Once more. Exhale. And gently inhale. Now, do you remember heart opening? Closing up. Gentle contraction starting at the core. And then inhale, opening the body, filling the body with fresh, clean water if you were a sponge. And then gently exhaling, squeezing. How about 30% is sweet to start with? Squeezing out toxins and then relaxing the body, opening it up. Feel the body rise with an inhale. 
And then feel the body settle. Gentle, long, slow, smooth, deep. Exhale. It's consistent, slow, and smooth. Inhale. Opening the body. Exhale. Closing the body. 40% contraction. Inhale. Relax the body. Open. And exhale. Contract 40%. Squeeze the thighs and the calves and the arms and the hands. Squeeze all the way out. And then relax and allow the body to open up. How about one more time? One more good squeeze. Clean the last little bit of toxins out of the body. Breathing out black or brown smoke. Cleaning the body. And then breathing in. White, soft light. Filling the body and lungs. You remember gathering from last week? Dipping towards the ground, gently gathering from the earth, drawing it up into the body. And then gathering from the sun. What would it feel like if I could gather the energy of the sun and draw it down into my body? That warmth, that heat. And then from below. Have you ever been hot on a humid day and wanted to cool down? Gently draw the cooling energy of the earth up into your cells, filling your whole body with healing. From above, the fire of the sun. From below, the water of the earth. When fire and water meet, they create steam. They create a cloud, not quite form, not quite formless. The Chinese believe that clouds represent enlightenment. And so we draw energy of the sun down. We draw the energy of the earth Fill our bodies with these healing resources, stimulating our strength in our bodies, stimulating emotional well-being in our hearts, and stimulating our connection to something larger than ourselves and our spirit. And so to finish, take your hands like little shells. And imagine reaching down deep into the earth, gathering earth energy. And then imagine your hands rising up and gathering all the energy of living things, the plants, the people, the animals. And imagine gathering the energy of the sky, maybe the sun, maybe the stars. And if you could take all this energy and pour it over yourself and feel it penetrate deep into your body, through every pore, and store it deep in your bones, and deep in your organs, in your lungs, and in your heart. Storing this healing energy for when you need it most. Just one more time, hands dropping down to the ground gathering earth energy, hands drifting up, gathering the energy of the plants and the animals, and overhead gathering the energy of the stars and the sky and the sun, and slowly this time, pouring it over us like honey, penetrating into every cell, into every pore, filling every nook and cranny in our bodies with health and well-being.
allowing your hands just to settle down towards your sides. Just notice your posture. Feel your feet on the floor, knees relaxed, tail settled, crown of the head lifted up towards the sky. Notice your breathing. My name is Brian Traskos, founder and director of the Institute for Rehabilitative Qigong and Tai Chi. And it's been my honor to spend this time with you.